Hey everybody, welcome back. If you ever wanted both Chrome OS and Windows 10 or Windows 11 on the same machine, but don't want to mess around with USB drives or complicated setups, that's once for all. I'm gonna walk you through how to develop both Chrome OS and Windows without using a USB. Sounds kinda wild, but take it with me, it works. So first, why even do this? Chrome OS is light, gets updates straight from Google, runs Android apps, Play Store, and if you're mostly web first, it's super fast. But you still might need Windows for apps, games, or just cause you're used to it. Don't put in let's see a switch for everyone. Now before we jump in, make sure your machine checks these boxes. 64 with CPU, at least 16 gigs pre, CPU turned off in BIOS, virtualization or hyper B enabled, UE API boot mode, not legacy, Intel agent or newer, Celeron works if it's recent, no ARM CPUs. AMD is a Ryzen server supported here. Also, disable hibernation and a fast start in the Windows. This mess with dual boot setups. Here is the step by step guide with no USB needed. Turn off hibernation and fast start up. Click on the start and search for run. Open it and type rage edit. Hit on the enter key. Click on yes. Now locate this location. HK local machine. System, create control set, control, and finally session manager, and then power. Now clip to have about enabled. This would be one. Double tap on it and replace it with zero. Hit OK. Now it's zero. Click on file. Exit. Now disable CQ boot. Make sure UEFI is on. Virtualization enabled. Now again, click on start. And search for PowerShell. Run as administrator. Click on yes. And now install WSL. Just type WSL space dash dash install. And hit on the enter key. Now, let's wait. Now it's completed. And now, close it and restore your PC. Now, to restore, again click on start. Now, go to Microsoft Store. And search for Ubuntu, and here is the free version. Just install it. Now it's done. When it's done, close it, click on start, and open it. Just wait a few seconds. Now choose one username, hit enter, choose new password. Hit enter, retype the password, hit enter, now it's done. Now type this command, sudo space apt space update space and and space sudo space apt space dash y space install dash pb dash cgpt and hit enter. Now type the password and hit enter. And just wait a few seconds to complete the process. Now it's done. Minimize this. Close it. Now, right click on the start menu. Choose disk management. Now shrink your drive in disk management. Pre up at least 16 gigs. Now here, right click on this. Select shrink volume. Choose here at least 16 gigs of space. I'm choosing 130 gigs. Right click on it. New simple volume. Next. 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 Put the name as Chrome OS. Next. Furnish. Close it. Go to this folder. Open it. Now here, create one folder named Chrome OS. It's done. Now minimize this. Open the browser. 
and search for Crosstech Chrome OS. Open the first link and here download as for your system variant. Click on the drop down, choose the latest. Now again and search for Savan GitHub branch. Open this link, click on latest and here choose tar.dz. Click on it and download has been started. Now it's done. Again search for grab to win, go to the site, click on download now. Now it's downloaded, minimize the browser, go to this PC and download folder, select all of them, cut and go to this PC, go to Chrome OS drive and into the folder, paste them here. Now extract all of them. Now when it's done, you can delete the zip files, Chrome OS and grab to win2. Now select Chrome OS folder, rename it just like this and now go to this folder and select the Chrome OS file, select cut, go back and paste it here. Now delete the V file. Now it's done. Minimize this. Go to Ubuntu. Now restart the Ubuntu. Now type this command cd space dash mnt slash d slash chrome OS. Why did I got this g slash chrome OS? Let me tell you. Here is my chrome OS folder, and chrome OS folder is into the chrome OS drive. That's simple. This is G drive, that's why it's G and it's into the Chrome OS folder and here is the Chrome OS folder. Now type enter, now we're into the Chrome OS folder. Type ls, hit enter, now we're here. Now type sudo space tor space dash zxvf, hit space and from there select branch dot third dot zz select it press ctrl c it's copied right click on here now it's pasted hit enter key type a password hit enter now wait a few seconds now it's done now type this command sudo space bash space chrome os dash install dot sh space dash src hit space now select the chrome os file hit control plus c to copy it right click on here now it's pasted hit a space there after that type dash dsd space chrome os underscore recovery dot img space dash space then after ace the number describes the size of the mg file. Keep in mind there. I've chosen 126 gigs. And there the image size is 80 gigs. So there will be enough size. Also I can use 100 gigs. Make sure 20 gigs of space are free up there. Now hit enter key. Now here we'll have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the process. Now when it's done. So you just have to copy this command, select it and control C, it's copied, right click on here and drill boot is there, hit enter and now you can see drill boot command is ready. Now refresh it and now you can see it's completed. Open it, go to Chrome OS and here is the Chrome OS recovery command. Open it. Minimize this, you can close this. Now. And still grab to win. Click on more info. Run anyway. Click on yes. Click on OK. It's downloading. Please wait. Now click on setup. Click on close the startup program. Now select the screen resolution as highest. Click on manage boot menu. Select add new entry. From the drop down, select sub menu. Put the name as Chrome OS, select edit custom code, 
now open this control a and copy control c minimize this right click on here paste it now go to file save close it okay 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 apply okay click on apply click on okay close now it's done now you can restore your pc access the bio settings go to boot disable fast boot and change the boot priority to grab to win now it's done hit obtain change save the settings and exit on the screen select chrome os and hit any key just wait a few seconds again select branch and see it on the any key what if you say consider to complete the process now it's very simple just set up just set up your chrome os get started select personal ease click next next log in with the gmail id accept the terms and conditions accept and continue accept and continue choose your password and click on next you can skip them no thanks next choose your theme next get started congratulations you've successfully installed chrome os to a pc with windows 11 the best for the help here don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more tech tabs thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one